Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to my first ever let's play. This is the 8th uh, episode featuring Sweden in Empire Total War. I just defeated a big army that was uh, straight too close to Ingria. And I now have a almost full army here. Uh, it cost me 3,000 fight to replenish but I have a big army ready to go somewhere and do some damage. Now uh, I do want to do something quite risky. I'm thinking of attacking Moscow and conquering Moscow and then using that as leverage to get a peace agreement with Russia so that I can finish off Denmark because Denmark has a full army I need a full army to take out these guys now let's see if I can kill some gentlemen uh, he has one over there where's the other one? where's the other guy? He should have one more, shouldn't he? But I can't see him. Alright, fair enough. Uh, what am I researching right now? Uh, explosive shells. Yeah, that's good. I want that. Uh, I don't want that. It takes too long. Let's see, I have a weaver, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll just do social contract. No. What does this need? Nothing, okay. Well, I'm gonna need that one, because uh, it'll allow me to make bigger ports and it'll allow me to make some uh, nice plantations. Mm -hmm. So for now, I'll just research carbines, because uh, I really like dragoons, and dragoons are a very nice unit, especially for keeping the peace. They actually give more happiness bonus in a city than uh, normal troops do. I need more technology, though. Yeah, I'll do a spinning journey. Now, the question is, should I move this army down and attack Russia again? Or should I wait until it's fully replenished? How long would it take me to get... Okay, it'll take me three turns. So, because I have to go around, because there's army right there. However, what I can do is that I can attempt to crush his army right there which is what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna stop replenishing and uh, do an out resolve there that's uh, way too easy there we go no problem at all Actually, I did lose uh, 60 something units. This meant that for now I cannot uh, replenish all my troops, but that's fine because I have more troops over here. So I'll just send this guy. Actually, this guy. This guy. And. Uh, 35. Yeah, that one. Send these three away. To replenish. Still within reinforcements range of the other of the other army, so they shouldn't be attacked. Hopefully, he won't figure out to go to Ingria. Around he shouldn't be able to because uh, I've blocked off the area here. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I still keep Denmark on on their toes. I have no moves, so I cannot attack that fleet right now. <laughs> oh, I just love the Swedish voices. They're so great. And yeah, once again, this uh, settlement has fortifications, so I can uh, I can hold this uh, Estonia, Livonia. I can hold that quite nicely with that little army. Don't think I need it anymore. Uh, there's like uh, three buildings inside the inside uh, the fortress, if I'm not mistaken. And one of the buildings has room for two units, so I need four line inventory, which is exactly what I have, and one pikeman to close the gates. Okay, that should do it. That should do it. Hmm. Yeah, see, he's trying to go around me to go and grab uh, Ingria. I might have to take him out as well. Maybe before my uh, army is fully retrained. 
Although if I wait one turn, um, let's see here. Opportunity to intercept. You know what? Uh, once again, these are wounded ships. It's not going to be very interesting, I think. So I'm just going to resolve that one. And I captured one of his ships as well. So now I have naval superiority, complete naval superiority, in uh, around Scandinavian Denmark, which is great. I also have one guy in Iceland. Okay, that's a great place to get the gentleman, isn't it? Duel. Maybe I can lose him in a duel. Oh, he cheated! Oh no! And he's dead. Actually, I won. So my guy cheated. Well, he's Swedish, so that shouldn't really surprise me. <laughs> yes, very good, very good. He still has a ship in there. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get rid of that before... Before... Uh, Uh, doing complete blank here. Yeah, before I beat Denmark. Now I'm gonna send these Indian down to Africa because uh, I need more trading income. I really do. Russia has a big ass fleet in Brazil, so I'm not gonna be able to do it there. I think Madagascar, Denmark had a fleet over there. So I'm just gonna send them over to the Ivory Coast for now. Uh, as you can see, there's one free because there's two lines going out. So one of these three is uh, free. I suspect it's that one. Because it was free earlier. And uh, can't place there because Denmark and over here. Maybe. I do assume that the Netherlands or United Provinces have captured all of them. But who knows, right? And after I've defeated the pirates, it should be quite safe to do everything everywhere. So. Now, the question is... Do I want to crush him now with my weakened army? It's not that weak, actually. Yeah, I'll do that. Hurrah! Hurrah! Now, I won that one. I did lose quite a few guys, but that's fine. I already... I'll Next turn I'll get a lot more people because they'll be finished replenishing one of their uh, turns, if you like. And I'm just going to keep pushing Russia until I can take Moscow. In the meantime, I'm going to send these guys back to defend Ingria. And with the little uh, guys over there, should be enough. Maybe I'll uh, recruit a couple of more line infantry just in case. Because these guys are quite wounded, as you can see. But next turn, they will be fully healed again. Yeah, a couple more light infantry ought to do it. And, uh, let's see then. Do I have any better ministers that I've gotten? Let's see, this one is... Having his low classes, that's always good. Uh, so, so happiness minus left. I love my navy commander. He's just great, and my justice commander. That is just awesome. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to kill another gentleman over here. Looks like it'll be a proper duel this time. Oh, and he does the Russian thing again. How sad he died. Oh, 
Now I do have to repair my ships as well actually because I did lose quite a few of them. I should also um, build some new ones. At least one more because I did lose quite a few ships. I did also capture one but I, I'm still down quite a few ships. And while that will help me with my upkeep, as you can see, I'm now making over 5,400 each turn. It's, you know, I, I still want my ships. I want them. They're mine. I need them to defend against whatever, against pirates and all the bad stuff in the world. And meanwhile, the pirates are actually uh, upgrading my future province. That's nice. That's nice of them. I am going to delete this one and make it into a... Uh, Make it into a trading port, that way I can open up a trade uh, route between this uh, island and my capital of Stockholm. And I can export my, I think this is sugar, isn't it? Yeah, sugar plantation. I can export my sugar back to the, um, back to the old world and get some more money out of that. I think that's it for now. My, enemy, my army is in the middle of enemy territory. But since there is an attrition in this game, uh, that doesn't come until later. And that's fine. And Russia is withdrawing. They're trying to save their army. Uh, the thing is, now I'm torn between trying to defend Ingria and trying to capture Moscow. I really want to capture Moscow just to make him accept peace with me. However, you know, you can't always get what you want. And uh, my army is, it is winning, but it is also quite wounded because um, I haven't done all the battles myself. I like to have to resolve the easy ones. And that bites me in the ass, especially in these games. Um, okay, so he's just attacked two of my Indiamen with two of his. I'm not going to accept that battle. I don't want to risk my India man for no reason. What I will do is go over there and kick his ass with my navy. And it looks like I have a new rake. I'm going to send this guy down to Denmark. He's going to have to go a long way around though. I'm not going to submit a ship for him. They'll be sleeping with the fishes. And I captured an Indiaman. It's always fun. I don't believe I need to repair this one before I use it, so I'm not going to. And I got some free moves out of that retreat. It's always fun. Hmm. There you go. Now, I hope that wasn't just a ruse to get my fleet away so you can blockade my port. That would suck. That would suck so bad. Then again, my trade income isn't huge right now. So, got a new port in Sweden. Okay, that looks like that's going to be another trading port then. Because uh, I always want trading ports in Norway and uh, Sweden. Because they're connected to my capital. And I can get as many trade routes as I want through that. Uh, another fishery trading port there as well, like I said, to export my sugar. Ah, yes, that was my fleet, wasn't it? Okay. And he's still infiltrating. Hmm. And my admiral just got a whole lot of traits for that. You gotta love that. All of this. Good stuff. Very good stuff. He actually has a fifth rate, doesn't he? Hey, admiral's fifth rate. Yeah. Admiral's fifth rate. So, uh... He's a happy camper. He has a good ship. Better than anything I can make right now. Oh, I'm missing like 30... 30 to be able to for that. <laughs> so close. What did I spend money on? I did spend it on a couple of uh, ports tonight. I don't, I don't need that one just yet. I can wait one turn for that. Now, um, as you can see, I am in the middle of enemy territory. That is not a good position to be in. However, I believe I can... Yes, I can sneak in there and take Moscow probably before that army will reach it. Actually, he'll probably reach it within the next turn because he has a road. But uh, either way, this will scare those guys up there. And, uh, you know, scaring is always good. 
And these guys are still not fully replenished because of my second battle. Okay. Hmm. France no longer wishes to trade with me. Why? And now they do. That's weird. Oh yeah, the Maratha Confederacy. Always good to trade with those, because um, you get a lot of money for trading to... Well, to see how much land they have. It's a good trading partner to have. Very good to have. Uh, the Ottoman Empire. Also, some exotic goods you can get over there. And yes, they want to trade with me. So... Joy. Really. Lots of joy. Maybe I can get a peace agreement with Russia without having to take Moscow. Nope, I can't. I have to take Moscow. Well then. So be it. Napoleon took uh, Moscow. And that means I can as well. However, I'm not going to attempt to go further into Russia than Moscow. If he doesn't accept peace agreement when uh, I offer him Moscow, that's just too bad. And there we go, I lost a gentleman, finally. Well, not finally, I don't, I don't like it, but uh, that's how it is. Uh, this guy has, obviously, a quite high roll this time. High seed roll, so I'm not going to further antagonize him, further try to take him out in a duel. I'll probably not win that, so... I'll try to use my rake, actually, the one I recruit in Finland. Maybe he'll be able to kill him. Now, I am curious as to my income with the new trade agreements. I should be see a significant amount of money coming in on this turn. And I can maybe turn down taxes on the higher classes. Because I increased them earlier, just to get some more money in. Because of wartime. And uh, and such and such. This guy's moving up again, of course. Well, that's good. That leaves Moscow free for me to capture. He does have a significant garrison in Moscow, but I do not think it's anything really worth anything. And me having a peace agreement with the Barbary Pirates really made me happy. I just love that they want to do that. Which means uh, I'll have much more of a free hand. How did I, how did I lose... Uh, how did I lose 113 units of people in a battle like that? How does that even happen? I just love how useless the computer is at, at uh, doing battles. Actually, I don't love it. I hate it. But <laughs> and my sixth rate is done. Great. Now I can join my fleet, and uh, my fleet actually needs some repairs, so I'll send them over here. Denmark's still building up their army. They're building it bigger now, because I took out their navy, so they have a bigger... Actually, they aren't being, building it bigger, just splitting it up. Which is wise, because that means they'll get to use their little... Uh, let's see right here. Their garrison units. So it's not a bad move. Now, uh, once this is done, I'm going to build India men like crazy here. Because I can just send them right over there. Right over there. Very quickly. No problem. Uh, talking about Indiamen, I have to make more. More Indiamen. And uh, it's about time I upgrade the Governor's Mansion in Ingria. Now, I don't like Russia trying to steal my technology. It's not very nice. However, I don't want to lose a second gentleman in a duel where I only have 30% chance of succeeding. That's not very good odds, to be honest. Now, this guy will probably try to attack Ingria. However, I do have quite a significant garrison there right now. I do not think it'll be a problem. So, let's see how it goes.
Oh, and Spain and the United Kingdom, or Great Britain. Uh, is at war. I don't know why it's called Great Britain, because that's the island, not the actual country. But, eh. And he just showed a huge fleet. Well, I'm not exactly sure where it was. Oh, it's probably down here somewhere. He's, uh, I assume he's gonna try to blockade my trade with, uh... Oh, there we go. Another one. And I actually lost one. I, uh, against an Indiaman. Or did I? Yeah, I think I did. Said I lost one. Anyway, I assume Russia is going to try and blockade my trade with the Ottoman Empire. That is what I would do. And my trading port near Leeward Island is done and see. Uh, new trade route, 416, straight away. Now, these guys need some repairs. I need some new ship tech, actually. I'll probably put this one uh, into making... Well, researching naval technology. I, I can't build... I can't do that, because I don't have an admiralty. So I'll build one. I'll build one. Why not? And this rake, his mission is to kill that guy. 31% chance is a new rake. I don't care if I lose him. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like he's the other guy over here. Who is completely awesome in every single way. Now, I'm going to do this... Uh, this way. I'm going to defeat his normal units first. So I don't have to fight both his garrison and his normal units at the same time. Now he only has his garrison left. Hopefully I can make them surrender. They refuse. It's their capital. They don't want to give it up. That's fine. And I lost 35 while taking this. Uh, which probably something similar would have happened. Because I could just surround his settlement with uh, cannons. And that's it. So I have now taken Moscow from Russia. I am going to try and force them into agreeing, into agreeing with to peace with me. First though, I am going to ruin this province completely. I do not want him to do this ever again. Completely, going to completely ruin the whole country. This is Scorch Earth, is what I'm doing right here. I'm destroying everything he has. This way, he'll not challenge me for a while. At least that's uh, what I'm hoping to achieve. And there we go. This is what happens when you mess with Sweden. Oh, and I smell Chinese food. Oh, I want that. Ooh. Someone in my building is having Chinese food. Poland, Lithuania, they are ma massing qu uh, a little, you know, quite a few troops up in Poland. I assume they are going to backstab me because they're still allied with Denmark and Russia, and I'm still at war with both Denmark and Russia. However, this turn I am going to try to make Russia agree to peace with me after I've destroyed all their. Okay, so they cancelled my destruction of their buildings by walking into them. That's fine though. Still destroyed everything they had in the city and uh, all the good stuff. And Denmark being bastards, blockading my port in Bergen. They'll pay for that. And just a whole bunch of raids. They're raiding their own capital, killing their own people. <laughs> you know, that's Russians for you. I will give you back Moscow if you trade and agree to peace and an alliance with me. No. Nope. You don't want peace after I took your capital. You don't want peace. What about trade agreement and uh, Moscow? Nope.
stubborn Russians. What I'm doing right now is just taking out the guys who are not replenishing. Because uh, they'll have to replenish anyway. Yeah, he has nothing nearby. They can really threaten me. I'm just going to take out these little small armies that are running around being annoying. Hopefully this will help to balance and make him uh, more agreeable. No problem. At all. And these guys just hate me. They completely hate me. Which is fine, you know. I am uh, I'm a stranger in their lands, I've come in here and I've taken their place, taken their homes, I've destroyed their buildings. So I'm not really surprised about that. This province is now completely useless, it has nothing, not even a magistrate. That might be why they wouldn't accept peace, or it might be because I asked for an alliance as well. Maybe next turn I'll try just peace and uh, Moscow. Because really all I want is uh, for my army to be freed out to take Denmark. That's really all I want. Now, uh, the thing about this, I have to actually send a uh, ground unit to, to force him out of my port before I can actually attack his fleet in there. And... Uh, that's exactly what I'll do. Now, I, I don't want to keep Moscow. That should be quite obvious by the way I destroyed it. I don't want it at all. It's not a province I like. It is way, way too out there. It's way too far away from everything. It's too far away from the sea, which is what I use as a transport method. It is too far away from... Everything I need. And that should be it. I expect the Russians will revolt. They'll uh, rise up and try to take Moscow again quite a few times. Unless I can trade Russia. No, unless I can trade Moscow away. The reason the Russians might not want peace is because they're sending their fleet around. Probably gonna try and mess up my whole trade thingy going on, so I'll have to make an even bigger fleet. Which is why I built an Admiralty, so I can research some naval tech. And <laughs> Paul Lithuanian is, it's quite obvious what he's doing right there. It's very obvious, however, I'm, I'm confident I can I can defend Estonia and Livonia with what I have there, against quite a sizable army. And he's gonna... no? Okay. I thought it was gonna disrupt my destruction of his building again, but he didn't. So, okay, they're just running around destroying Barbary pirates. That's a good waste of, the of their uh, fleet. So that's fine. Why does he keep attacking my Indiaman with his Indiaman? And he keeps pumping them out. How the hell can he afford to pump out ships like that when he has. A huge army, yes. Well, it doesn't look that huge right here, but he has a full one right there. So, I, I don't know. I must get some crazy bonuses in these early games. And I lost two ships. See, this is just, it's costing me money all the time because I have to build new ships all the time. Really annoying. However, my admiral is getting quite a lot of uh, training. Uh, that's a good thing. He is getting a, a lot, a lot of training. Which always makes me happy. Now, I don't really want to use these because they are almost destroyed, but uh, whatever. The Indiaman. Got a free Indiaman right there. It's nice. 
gonna send him to the New World as well. Actually, I'm gonna send him to Africa, like I have with the other ones. For now, I'm going to lock down the coast of Africa. Make it all mine. I believe this one is finished as well. It is. Now, that fleet I saw Russia have, I'm going to check it and see if that is the same one that you destroyed my one Indian in Brazil with. A public servant died, hopefully he wasn't one of my good ministers. Can't reach him this turn. That's fine. That's fine. And yeah, that's the one I just moved the Indian. So, uh... Your Highness. I don't know how I lose that many people when I resolve. I have cannons. In a real battle, I'll just sit there and uh, shoot my cannons at them. Well, there we go. That's all I can do right now. Need some more money. And the Russia still want a piece of agreement with me, do they? I'll try. See if I can give them uh, Moscow. Oh, they actually want that. Okay, that's fine. I'll try and get a trade agreement with them. They want that. Great, okay, so I'm now at peace with Russia. That'll free up my uh, army to take down Denmark once and for all. Destroy that pesky, pesky Denmark. Who keeps attacking me and just being a general bastard. So, uh, yeah, joy. Now this one's here. Uh, I think it was that one. That's the. And it is. So, there we go. Yes. Three out of five. Not bad at all. This is Ottoman Empire and Mughal Empire. Ottoman Empire I'm already trading with, so that's fine. The Mughals are almost dead, I assume. It looks like, yeah, it looks like the Maratha Confederacy has almost everything here. The Mughals got that one. Uh, yeah, see, exactly. Oh, this is a beautiful area, really. It is. Right, okay. Um, Prussia still haven't done anything else, have they? They're, they're still not growing, but how I want a alliance with them. No, actually I don't want, because they're uh, enemies with the United Provinces in Great Britain. I'd rather try and join that alliance, to be honest. At war with France, Spain. They're at war with France and Spain. You see, everyone's at war with everyone. I don't want to be at war with either France or Spain, because they have big navies, and they'll disrupt my trade empire. So I'll just stay a lone wolf for now. The rule of Scandinavia. And some of the Baltic coast. Now I'm just waiting for... Uh, Poland Lithuania to backstab me. It should be about time now. Maybe they need a few more troops just to make sure that they win. But uh, that'll be an interesting battle. And either way, it'll be a very interesting battle when I take Denmark or when I attack Denmark. See, yep, there we go. <laughs> I just love how well I know this game. Oh, there we go. Uh, please attack Estonia and Livonia. He didn't. Too bad. I'm still going to use my army to take out Denmark, finish off Denmark. If that means that I lose Estonia and Livonia and maybe Ingria, that's fine, I'll take it back right after. Because then Denmark will be out of the game. They won't be at peace with me, they'll be out of the game. They'll be gone. Done. Never to be seen again. I also assume that... No, actually I gave away Moscow so that they won't revolt just yet. And I got a new gentleman because I lost the other one in a duel. Let's see how this goes. Probably die. I got detected but he didn't die. So, that's good. Now where is he? He's still in Moscow. I don't need him in Moscow. Do I have two spies here? No, he has a spy as well. Let's kill his spy. Let's try. And he died. My best, <laughs> my best agent died. 
too bad. Too bad. Oh, this guy. Okay, so my uh, research over here is finished. I'll have the board gear. Do some of that. And I need to make more ships. I need more fixed rates because uh, I keep getting destroyed. Well, they keep getting destroyed. Oh, where's my fleet? It's right here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'll send it over there. Why not? You know, the bad thing is, yeah, he's no, he hasn't yet. Okay, he's gonna build more navy though, so he's just gonna keep pumping out ships until I've defeated him completely. And I need to make more Indiamen over here. Okay, it looks like I can strengthen my forces right here. Actually, I want to see if uh, there's still enemies in the East Africa. And this is my big army that I'm going to use to defeat Denmark with. Now, I do need quite a bit more money. So I'm going to raise the taxes a bit. Just for this turn. So that I can replenish my army. Maybe, uh, yeah, full on taxes right there. They won't be very happy with me. I won't be able to keep it up long. I'm just going to do it this one turn. Just to make enough money. To replenish my forces. Maybe build some new schools, who knows? Now we'll probably have a little battle with uh Pong Lithuania going on here. No? I was sure they were gonna attack uh Stone and Livonia, but apparently not. Apparently not. And he's still stealing my technology. He's just so annoying, Russia. He want he wants some of these guys into his own schools to research his own tech. He's just gonna steal mine. I don't. Know, it seems a waste because there's a long way to go. And he always risks it when he tries to steal it. Was that a Danish fleet? Hmm. Well, I hope not. Okay, let's see. Great Arsenal. That's the only th building I have to build, and I have to replenish my whole army. Okay, it wasn't that expensive. I thought it would be much more expensive, but it wasn't. Now. Let us move, shall we? Now, uh, if he does have a navy over here, I can't really see yet. Maybe I can. I don't know. But if he does, he won't be able to get my navy over here anyway. The one with the uh, army in it. Because I'm blockading, as you can see. I need to make more. More. More ships. A lot more ships. These guys will just land in Sweden. That way, they'll have a couple of turns to replenish their troops. I don't know if they can during the year. Uh, uh, during their voyage on the sea. I don't know if uh, land units can, can replenish on the, on the sea, but we'll see, right? And uh, Denmark has a trade agreement here. That's a trade route. Uh, I know for a fact they'll attack me. They always do, with their Indiamen. One versus one doesn't phase them. And they only have one. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to wait until uh, my second one is finished. Because I'm building another one over here. It'll be done next time. Uh, when that one is finished, I'll send both of them to take out his one. Should do fine. I guess my Admiralty is finished. That's why I can start researching some uh, naval tech. Which I have done. No, which I was supposed to do. Okay. Uh, which one of these is the one gives me more new ships. This one is, okay. Sorry about that. Sorry. 
Yeah, that's why I still haven't wiped out the pirates, have I? I need to do that. Okay. Now, I am going to keep this garrison in Ingria. And, uh... I really should build settlement fortifications over there. I really should do that. I'll do that next turn. And I'll turn down these taxes again. Because they don't need to be this high. And I'm just waiting for these guys to attack me. It just makes me so happy to see all my Indian men going to trade. I love money. I love money, just like everyone else. The bad thing is, uh, it is quite a long trade route between uh, here and the... Uh, what should I call them? The portals? No. It pass to the other trade routes, which means that I have quite a long trade chain that can be broken at any point, uh, they can just blockade that and raid it and it shouldn't be too difficult for them, so I'm weak when it comes to that, I should not rely too much on trade but I am, because it's, it's just such a good way to get money it's just fantastic oh, Venice has a sizable fleet And there we go, pirates are actually messing with my... Well, they're probably going to try and mess with my fleet, with my trade. Hmm. There we go. They will now go into Brazil and kill the one Indian man. Two versus one shouldn't be a problem at all. And he's just gonna land them right over here. Now I did need to build a settlement fortification in Ingria, so I'm gonna get started on that. It's about time. It really is about time. Now I know this has been a very long episode so far, I am expecting a battle in Copenhagen to defeat Denmark, that's going to be a big battle, and we'll all see it, oh that was a huge naval battle right there, France won it. Now that would have been something to see. I do expect the next episode will not be this long at all because uh, Poland Lithuania backstabbed me. I expect Russia to do so as well once they build up Moscow. So this is probably the longest period of peace I'll have in a in a while. A relative peace. I'm still at war, but and he's withdrawing his own gentleman. Hopefully to do some actual research for hiring himself. And that navy is just huge. And he keeps building ships, sending it to them. Oh no, 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 no. That's horrible. Oh, he has so many ships right here. That is so bad. However, that means this area is free for ships. Now I, I don't want I don't want those guys to kill my Indian men, and they will, at least from my experience they will. So I'm going to send all my guys into the East Africa trade route. And I can just send them back here when he's gone. Which hopefully I'll be able to see because I have a trade route going straight through here. So I'll see when he's gone. And they're there in Brazil. Great. Kill that guy. And I got his Indian man. So that's not mine. Yes. Yes. And I lost my general. No! No, no, no. Why did I lose my general? Oh, no. Oh, the humanity. 
That's fine though, I'll just send this one. Oh, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Backspace is the stop button, by the way. The reason I want him to stop is I can just put him in a ship. And I can get even further this time. And I'll be able to reach Quallen in uh, one or two turns. And this is now full. So we'll have a siege of uh, Copenhagen. Schopenhagen in Norwegian. And I will see you in the battle.